I have severe osteoporosis and I have had chronic pain for years, but it was exacerbated by a car accident that I had in July of 17, where I had an L2 compression fracture. And ever since that time, I've had bouts of bad pain, tolerable pain, not so bad pain. It gets to a point where it's like, okay, I gotta do something different. And I do Volterra and I do acupuncture, I do massage, chiropractic. It's a full-time job trying to stay out of pain. There were times that I could not roll over in bed to get out of bed to go to the bathroom first thing in the morning. So I just made a phone call to the pain management and I said, I think I need to see Dr. Pascora. After a thorough evaluation uh, of Peggy in our, our pain clinic, uh, we decided to uh, test her for facet joint related pain. I was on my stomach and they had, um, you know, x-ray fluoroscopy where they could see where the needle was going. And he localized the spot where I owled, <laughs> where, I, where I could tell I felt it. And he knew he was in the right spot and then he zapped it basically silence the tiny pain nerves taking up the pain from those facet joints. You know, we have to do the radio frequency ablation. We're doing the heating of those uh, nerves. We're going to heat them up to the needle tip, which you already inserted. And the reason we're going to heat up those tiny pain nerves is that they stay stunned for several weeks to months, or hopefully even longer. There's a lot of things that can be done for back pain and for chronic pain that people are totally unaware of. They, they think there's medicine and there's surgery, but there's all kinds of other things in between. The good news is with the radio frequency ablation, if it works for you, um, it may not last forever, but it can provide extremely meaningful relief for you that you can decrease your pain medication, you can be more active, you can sleep better, enjoy more uh, of your life. And if the pain comes back as we are getting older, the procedure can be repeated. He's a wonderful doctor. He's very affable, very personable, makes you feel like you're the only patient he has. He definitely involves the patient and lays out options and says, this will do this, but it might do this. This will do this, and it might do this. This will do this, and it might do that. What do you think you might be interested in of any of these? And and is very much a partnership.